Cash is faced with a dilemma this week, as he learns that Stevie is set to attend an event that could well put her life in danger. Up until last week, Cash had been employed by superstar actress Stevie as a personal bodyguard, as she faced harassment from a mystery stalker. When Cash was brought in, Stevie had already received a worrying photo taken as she slept, with the numbers 2346 written on the back. A link was soon made to Stevie's latest horror movie, Death Throws, with the numbers representing the time that the fictional killer would strike. Stevie had initially been spending her time on a luxurious yacht moored up in a marina, but Cash soon put a stop to that and placed her in a more secure city hotel. However the location was soon compromised, with the teddy bear sent to Stevie's room via her agent found to have a secret camera hidden inside it. When the stalker later posted a picture of Stevie's hotel on social media, Cash removed her from the location immediately and brought her back to his home on Saxon Avenue for her safety. This came as something of a surprise to Cash's sister Flick, who came home to find the famous movie star in her living room. Despite Cash's security firm offering to find Stevie a new hotel, Stevie instead asked if she could continue to stay with the Newman siblings. Although she has kept a low profile in Summer Bay, with Cash stipulating that she should only go as far as the backyard, she's managed to make waves with a few residents by hopping into bed with new neighbor Remy and posting a photo on her socials. There had been concern about how far the stalker would go when Stevie later informed Cash that her co-star from the movie, Crystal, had recently died after falling from a cliff. Stevie was certain that Crystal would never have gone near a cliff edge, being afraid of heights, so was convinced that her friend must have been murdered. When the coroner's report came in last week however, Crystal's death was ruled as misadventure. This devastated Stevie, who felt that no one would take the threats of her stalker seriously now. Stevie packed up her bags in defeat and fired Cash, stating that she no longer needed protection. If the guy was never going to be caught, then she wanted to continue living her life, she was tired of hiding. Cash desperately tried to change Stevie's mind, but as her car pulled up outside, she thanked Cash for his assistance and left the house. This week, as TV Week reports, Cash can't help but carry on looking out for Stevie when he hears that she will be attending a red carpet event for her new movie. With the event well publicized, it means that everyone knows the exact time and place that Stevie will be appearing, including her stalker. Cash knows that the danger of facing Stevie is real and it's escalating, Nicholas Cartwright told TV Week. Just because Stevie fired him it doesn't mean Cash can turn off the part of himself that cares about her safety. Refusing to stand by and do nothing, Cash goes along to check out the venue as the event begins, and is concerned when he realizes that a lack of security means anyone could walk in. He's that Stevie has put herself in a dangerous position, Nicholas continues. No one is checking the fans attending the event, so a stalker could easily get close. When Stevie arrives, Cash explains the situation and convinces her to let him accompany her for her own safety. Cash's instincts are proven right when, to everyone's horror, a man presumed to be Stevie's stalker, Sidney, Joshua McElroy, breaks through the crowd and lunges towards Stevie with a knife. Cash gives chase as Sidney makes a run for it and spots him escaping into a car park. Cash dives under the shutter door just as it closes, seemingly cornering the assailant. Cash doesn't know what the stalker is capable of, Nicholas adds. So he takes the opportunity to end the threat. Will Cash be able to get his man and finally put an end to Stevie's nightmare?